Hey, what's up everybody? Paul here, Left Coast Model Car Builds. So we got a good day out. Got our small scale Corvette. And we got a number of options here. As you can see, basically got some uh, tropical glitz candies using some House of Color bases. I have some House of Color candies too, but they're going to be a little heavier than these. So I'm going to try out these tropical glitz, which I have not sprayed. Uh, so what I'm going to start with is some silver base. So let me get this all ready and uh, we'll go ahead and start shooting that. Give me a second. All right. So the idea here is maybe do a little bit of fade work, which I you know, love that stuff. But I've not done much of it, especially on a small scale, and I'm still adjusting to an airbrush from the touch-up guns. So what I'm going to do is start with my silver, and actually, even though the whole body's going to get silver, I'm going to start out as if I was doing a little shade work just to get my distance down, the pattern, and see what we got. So the body, we've got Tamiya white primer after molding everything in. It's And then I took and... Uh, just lightly water sanded it with 1500. So we got our Orion Silver mixed up. So I'm gonna just hit it with a little bit of air. All right, so let's see what we got here. So, I don't know if you can even see there, but that's the idea of what we're going to go with, with a little bit of the fading, and just probably a little down the body line, like that. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to finish getting some silver down, then I'm going to switch to either an or orange or a gold base, we'll see. So let me go ahead and finish getting. So I'm going to let that silver set up. I don't think we'll need too much more, but I'll check it out. We might get one more coat on. Let's get, oh shoot, let's see. I don't know if you can kind of see how that's looking there. All right, so that's where we're at. I'm going to actually go throw on my contacts, I think. 
All right, so what we're gonna do, go ahead and mix up some uh, gold and I'll show you real quick what I'm doing to save on stuff, make it easy. So we got our solar gold, we got our reducer. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is just use these guys, pull my reducer, then my base. That way you don't have to waste two of these. Reducer's not gonna hurt your base. So I just track how much I'm pulling in. Probably do about the same as what I did on the silver. And then once I'm done, there's a little left over. I just dump it back in with the paint. I'm not gonna hurt it. Let's see. Do one more. All right. I'll probably keep this thin down just a hair since we're already working. So what I do is I get my mixture there and then do the same. Just pick it up, squeeze it in. That's an easy way to mix. I don't have to pour from the can and wipe it out. I don't have to use my bigger PPG cups. So this works out pretty well for that. All right. So give me a second. I'm get this in the brush. We'll be right back. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, do some gold. So again, I'll be honest. Normally I plan out colors. If it's going to be two-toned or different bases, one candy, two candies. This thing's kind of just been having fun experimenting. Feels good to get the sun out and be doing some spraying again. So what I'm trying to figure out is how much silver we actually want to leave, if any.
kind of see the lines we're working with here. So what I'm going to do is some of the shading with the different bases and then shading with two different candies. So you can kind of see we've got just a little bit of silver on the sides and then how we got the top and we'll see how it comes out. I guess it's all just messing around, kind of free handy. I think I'm gonna do All right, so we got a little silver all around, some gold. Kind of show you guys what we got so far here. We can... All right, that's almost all the base we're going to need. All right, I'm gonna shoot just a hair more in a couple spots and we'll be back. All right, so I mixed up a little more silver. I'm gonna go back and just fog in a couple spots and see how that comes out. So let's see here. I got the air down a little.
what I'm doing is just fogging in some silver in a couple spots so it's just a little more evident so let's see how this goes I think I just about got it actually kind of see there what we've got I got no clue how this is going to come out the candies but we're going to try to do as much work as we can here uh, I'm just going to blow a little color on the back sides So the idea here is even though we're using two different candies, you could use one candy over this and get that effect. So my goal is going to be probably to blow in more of the candy gold over everything and then come back and just hit a little bit with the candy red in a couple areas. So we will see what we get here. All right, give me a second. We'll be back. All right, we're back. I had to go back. Man, I probably went back three or four different times going with the gold and silver, just building up a couple areas. And then each time I did it, I saw something that, you know, I didn't like or I felt it was off. Probably still not 100% where I want to be, but so let's take a look now. You guys can kind of see. So we got, you know, let's see if we go over here. Better, man. So we got the shading done with Orion Silver, Solar Gold. Now we're going to shoot some candy, which I'm semi nervous about because I haven't shot Tropical Glitz as candies, but hopefully it'll be fun. So what I'm going to do is start with the gold and then come back with a little bit of red accents and see what we come up with. Again, having some fun out here. Let's see what we do. All right, so completely switching things up here. I started looking at a candy green that I had. And what's funny is when I got these tropical glitz, I don't think at the time I had a good sale and I was in a hurry. I didn't even realize I picked up some of these candies. But anyhow, we're going to go ahead and I got an idea with some red. So we're going to go ahead and see how this, this plays out. This is going to be interesting. Again, here's what we're starting with with our bases. So let's see how this goes.
Alright, so not how much you can see there. We got our first coat of red. Some a few things I want to hit. So you can kind of see what we got here so far. Doing a little shading with the red. So with the candies, you kind of layer them, and each layer gets darker. So kind of picking and choosing, and may leave just a little bit of that silver to shine through in a couple spots. But we'll see how this goes. All right. So here's what we got here with the red. You can see just a little bit of that silver gold. And the red's got a little bit of shading on its own. So, let's see. I think we're gonna go with this, shoot some clear down, and hope for the best. So we'll see, so give me a second, I'm gonna clear out the candy, figure out which clear I wanna use, and we're gonna go with it. So again, this, not a hundred percent where I wanted to be with this, but you know, I'm not gonna complain. Sucker's small, fun to work with. All right, we'll be back. All right, so quick look here. We're gonna go ahead and use some scale finishes, the 500 gloss clear. That's the uh, candy that we used over our bases. Here's what we got kind of sitting here. So we're gonna see how this, this all comes out. Hopefully it'll be pretty good. Got the little setup sticking with the airbrush today. Not gonna break out the other. Um, so we'll see how this goes. We'll be right back. start shooting some clear blow a little air Let's see what we come up with See what we got there. First coat, we're just getting our coverage, tack everything down, and then we'll start laying on heavier coats. We'll let this sit for a few minutes, and we'll grab back. All right, we're gonna come back now and shoot our second coat down. This will definitely be a little wetter.
here's what we got so far. I gotta get this a little wetter on this next coat. Alright, so next one we'll try to get even a wetter coat down. But that's all we got so far. Looking good. Starting to see the candy shine through, the fade. Looking nice. We'll be back. Alright, so here we go. Coat number three of our scale finishes. 500 gloss clear. And it's starting to get there. Uh, third coat, fourth coat. Hopefully fourth coat will be done. If not, we'll put a fifth, but should be pretty good. Let's see what we end up with here. difference there cranked up the air pressure now we're getting some clear down still want to get it a little wetter but it's getting there We're starting to really get there looking good we're gonna let this kick off and we'll be back all right so definitely looking a lot better we're gonna go ahead and get the fourth coat on which i think will be the last let's see Thank you. 
this looking pretty good. I don't think we're going to need a fifth. This is actually really clean. So I'm hoping it'll just dry out really nice. Not get much in there. And I think we're good. I'm going to put a little more right over here. better it and kind of kick off but let's show you what we got over here oh, it's looking So far, so good. Let me let this kick off and see if we're going to need another coat or not. So you can see it is looking pretty nice out here. All right, so I'm kind of at a 50-50 here on shooting one more coat. This is the one thing clearing from my touch-up gun is a whole lot easier. The airbrush, it just, the, I don't know how to explain it. The coat I like to get on these on the third is just not quite there. I think I'm gonna put one more down and worst case scenario, I'll let sit a few days, color sand it, and then shoot it with the touch up gun. But let me see if I can get this last coat if it kind of smooths it out the sun it looks great out here but when i get it up out of the light that's where i just i can see some stuff i'm not 100 percent happy with so let's see been what it needed is just that last coat.
right, so that's we may have got the look we were going for here. Nice and wet with that last coat. I don't know if you can see the difference here, but that's really looking good now. All right, give me a second. I'm gonna pick up some of this and we'll take a look at this in the sun where you can really see it. So we'll be back. All right, so let's go look at this thing in the sun. You can see the where the shading is. So you got shading in silver and gold along with the candy red. Uh, not bad for really a first effort. I think I messed around with a few way back when with bases, but they never got completed. But overall. Look pretty good. I think this will look pretty neat once it's all foiled and done. So, alright, we'll get some pictures up later, but I'll show you guys what I was talking about. What it looks like when you kind of get it out of the sun. Which now it's got a nice, nice gloss coat to it. You can see the candy. So, very good.